Just when I thought I'd seen all the techniques to shut down free speech, from pulling a fire alarm to singing songs, all the way to actual violence, students at Beloit College proved me wrong. Several students at this Wisconsin school stacked chairs on the stage to physically prevent Eric Prince, founder of the security company Blackwater, from speaking. The drum banging was also an attempt to make it impossible to hear Eric, who had been invited by a conservative group. Eric and Blackwater are controversial because a little over a decade ago, Blackwater guards killed 17 Iraqis in Baghdad. Beloit College condemned the disruption in a statement, but in the heat of the moment, instead of making campus police keep the students in line, the school's interim dean of students simply cancelled the event. Now, if you're a regular viewer of Campus Unmasked, you might remember that President Donald Trump signed in late March an executive order protecting free speech on college campuses. He threatened withholding federal research funding from schools that do not do so. Many private schools do get this funding, $25 billion of it, however, Beloit College isn't one of those schools. So I guess there's no incentive, because, you know, some people need to be pressured to do decent, common sense things like protect free speech. So in the more than 300 Campus Unmasked episodes I've done so far, I think this is the first story I've done on Beloit College. But there's actually another rather curious happening there recently. After the New Zealand massacre a couple weeks ago, Beloit suspended Muslim student Nathaniel Acharya after he posted to Snapchat, saying, Hey, if you post on 4chan or 8poll, I don't care what board you're part of, you deserve to be shot for knowingly partitioning, I think he means partaking, in one of the biggest breeding grounds for white supremacist terrorists of the modern era. Thank you. Uh, citation needed. With Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit constantly getting censored, 4chan and 8chan are two of the last bastions of free speech online. Sure, there's some nasty stuff, but a lot of it is satire and it's precisely this sometimes caustic and vitriolic speech that serves as a counterbalance to the left's continual narrowing of the Overton window. Also remember some of the fantastic investigative journalism work these sites have done, like the identification of bike lock professor Eric Clanton. Then there's always the very real chance that if you don't let people vent their disgusting opinions online with words, they might feel like they have no other choice but to express them with bullets. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.